everyone, it's Pebbles and welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is having a fabulous day. Today is going to be my July empties. Yes, July empties. We have one more month before September. Can you freaking believe this? This summer is flying by and I'm sure everybody on YouTube land is saying the same thing when they're doing their empties because I cannot believe it's the end of July and we are starting in August. Today, I got caught in the rain, hence my hair is a mess, so I pinned up the top because, yeah, I look horrendous. So it was literally coming down in buckets. I have not seen it rain that hard in a long time. And we had tons of lightning in this area, and it was during the day. I think there was a news report today that said that it hit, I don't know if it was 27 times in an hour, I don't know, but it was like really, really high statistics. So anyways, you didn't come to this channel to hear about the rain or me bitching about the end of summer. You came to see my empties. So if you are interested in seeing what I finished in the month of July, please stay tuned. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do it a little differently. I'm just gonna go and randomly pick things out of my bag because I'm not sitting on the floor and I haven't organized them per category. So I'm just gonna randomly choose things and tell you my review on them and so forth. So the first thing I'm gonna share with you is the Sebastian Mousse Forte. I actually paid $16.95 for this and I got it at a beauty supply store. You can pick these up at Winners periodically or Marshalls or TJ Maxx. And this I did not like at the very beginning and then as I used it, I loved it. So I would re definitely repurchase. It does give you a lot of volume. You only need like probably a little bit larger than a golf ball size of product and then you put it on the roots of your hair and it gives you gorgeous volume it's not sticky it's not tacky whatsoever it just gives you beautiful bounce and voluminous hair and i highly recommend it and it is the sebastian mousse fort forte i guess is how you would say it highly recommend you can see look at how dirty it is so disgusting isn't it? the next thing i finished was a colgate sensitive Pro Relief mouthwash. Um, this was good. It just didn't taste that great. It had it was in the flavor soothing fresh mint. I found it to be a very thick kind of liquid. It was kind of gross when you were squishing it in your mouth, and then when you, you know how you, it was thick. So I don't think I would repurchase this one. It was okay. My boyfriend ended up purchasing this. I think he needed some, and he left it at the house, and I finished it. It was. <laughs> the next thing I finished were some sunscreens and these are the um, Australian gold sunscreens in 30 SPF and 15 SPF and these have some bronzers inside the um, lotion which I actually like because it bronzes your skin as it protects and I really like this it's um, I love the fragrance it does protect it did not burn with either one of these products and the only problem with these is these pumps I find that after a while the pump clogs up and you can't spray the product on your body anymore so that is a faulty whoops there goes my bag faulty packaging with this um because these do end up breaking so i i just unscrew the cap and then i poured the product on my skin and the product is like this brownie color if you can see there's still a little bit of product left in this so that's the product there it's kind of like a chocolatey color it's like um, a light chocolate color it's really and it smells nice it's got a really nice beachy smell to it so um, if you're in the market to uh, purchase sunscreen I would check out the Australian gold it is good quality I would repurchase uh, I have repurchased something else because these do tend to be on the more expensive side of the spectrum when it comes to SPF but these are my faves. I would definitely repurchase these. 
the next thing I per I finished were these two spongy facial sponge things that you use to clean your face. Um, this was a YouTube purchase. I was not a fan. I didn't find them to be abrasive enough to actually cleanse my face. And then I kind of found it gross because I leave mine in the shower. And I'm sure other people don't do that, but I'm skeevy that way, I guess. I left mine in the shower and I just kind of felt grossed out by thinking that, oh, you know what? It's a sponge and bacteria accumulates on sponges and I'm putting this on my face not such a great idea I did purchase these at Sephora they were kind of expensive I got three I have one more left I finished two and once I finish my third one I will not be I will not be repurchasing these so these are intended to cleanse your face I'm sure they work for some people I just couldn't master them hello hi they look like donuts don't they hello Doo -doo -doo. Okay, anyways, why is my lighting screwed up? So yeah, wouldn't repurchase those. Finished my NYX matte bronzer. So sad to see this go. Oh, this is one of my favorite bronzers. Look at this. There's a little bit of product left and I kind of use this just to like bronze the around my nose to make it look more smaller than it is. But I am... This is on my must buy get list. I am repurchasing this and I will have a video this weekend on drugstore bronzers and stay tuned for that because this little puppy may or may not be making an appearance. Next thing I finish is the Aruba Coconut Triple Moisture Body Cream from uh, Bath and Body. Oh, I love the smell of this. Just, it's a nice summery smell. It's nice and emollient. It's it's one of my favorite um, hydrating body lotions. Love, love, love the Bath and Body Triple Moisture. Would repurchase this fragrance. Highly recommend. It's a beautiful summery scent. This one um, does not tell you what it smells like, but I can tell you right now it does have a hint of coconut in there, and I'm not sure what other kind of scents are in it because I purchased this in Canada, and they don't put the scents smells on the packaging. Don't know why, but they don't. But I highly recommend this. Love, love, love it. The next thing I finished was one of these trial size St. Tropez self tanning um, lotions, and this is like a mousse. So I don't know if I can get any out. No, it's completely finished. It's exhausted. But you apply this and it comes out like a foamy mousse and it's in a color brown, like a chocolate brown. And then you put the tanning mitt on and then you just rub it on your skin. It does give you a really nice brown tan. It does not lean on the orange side. This is full size, is expensive. Even this was expensive. I think this little bottle was like 12 or $13. It did last me for a little bit, but it is an expensive product. And I'm really liking my million dollar tan, which I am going to repurchase. I would I would recommend this. This was a nice self tanner. And if you want to try it out, because you can easily find this at Sephora, or I think Shoppers Drug Mart actually now carries St. Tropez, I would recommend. It does give you a really nice, um, sun-kissed look on your skin. The only thing is, I'm going to tell you, after you take a shower and you wipe off, it does transfer on your towels. So have some bleach prepared to bleach your towels because this will stain your towels after you take a shower. Next thing I finished was the um, Laneige BB Cream. I got this on my Ipsy bag and I got three colors and it comes with a little poof and a sponge. These things were absolutely wonderful. I absolutely love this uh, BB cream. It is not available at the Target in Canada yet. Um, it is available apparently at Target in the US and I was using the dark and the dark for my skin coloring right now was fabulous. The medium was a little light but it was absolutely beautiful. If you, It is more of a liquid it is liquid, but it has like this spongy applicator that you put on your face and you put it applied on. And I think, I don't know how much it costs full size, but it is available at Target. So definitely love this. If you're looking to try out a different kind of BB cream, you might want to give this a look-see because it actually applies nicely, lasts all day. And you know when it breaks down? It didn't break down. It lasted nicely and I didn't have that streaky look on my face whatsoever. It didn't settle in um, fine lines or wrinkles. It didn't blotch. And this says 
it's supposed to brighten, protect, cool and moisturize, prevent shine and prevents long lasting, perfects long lasting coverage. It actually does everything that it says it does. So definitely give this product a look if you are in the market for a BB cream. I liked it and if I ever do see it at one of the stores, I would pick it up. I finished this little sample of Clarins. Um, it's a body lift cellulite smoother and I got this sample in one of my gift bags from Shoppers Drug Mart and I do have two large foil samples that I'm going to be using. This is the little sample here. It didn't give me a lot, but once I did apply it, I applied it here on my arms because sometimes, you know, I don't know if you can see, but there's some a little dimpling because I'm chubby, chubby bunny. So anyways, I don't like those dimples on my arms. So I put this on there and it does feel really cool when you put it on, but it doesn't get away. It doesn't get rid of your cellulite. Who are we kidding? Um, no. Exercise, weight loss, and actual like massaging the area is supposed to help, but I don't know if you actually really ever do get rid of cellulite unless you do that machine, but I think the machine is really expensive to get those procedures done. Anyways, this is the Clarins Cellulite Cream. Forgo it. Do not invest your money because it doesn't work. I have two more foil samples that are huge that I am going to use because, you know, I like to use my samples up, but I would not go and spend the money because it was it's expensive. I checked it out at Shoppers and I think it was like 70 bucks for the full size. No thanks. Finished my Kiehl's um, Crystal Marine Firm Eye Treatment. Love, love, love the Kiehl's eye creams. Currently I'm using the Rosea one and it's amazing. This one was fabulous. If you suffer from fine lines or crepey eyelids, go to Kiehl's. Honestly, go get yourself a sample if you don't want to commit to a full jar. The jar to me, I feel is not expensive because it actually works. You're looking at $45. I, I purchased this in the US, so I'm not sure how much it costs in Canada, but $45 in the, the US for this. This one here, I started in February and I just finished it now. So February, March, April, May, June, July, six months for $45. Hello, that it's a good price. So you just need a little bit and you just put it under here and on the top of my eyelids. I, I just kind of did my orb audible bone, but I do go in a little bit more than you're supposed to, but that's just me. No, actually I lied. This is $40. $40. I think the one that the other one I just purchased is 45 but definitely would recommend the Kiehl's eye cream. It just really does work. I'm going to tell you, go get yourself a sample. This stuff is amazing. I finished my Lancome Sills Booster um, eye, eye primer. This stuff is fabulous. Absolutely recommend if you're looking for a product to plump up your lashes before you put your mascara this is it you need to go get yourself one of these if you are in the market for this it gives you long luscious um, lashes and if you are using colored mascara this is excellent because your mascara will show up even more look at I've got blue mascara on today if you can see that and I put this on first and then I always use this with any mascara even with black and then I applied my mascara and this just amplifies your lashes dramatically highly recommend would repurchase I have my new one in my thing right now that I'm using because I just finished it like two days ago this one here I just finished two days ago so I repur I used my backup and now I have to go pick up a backup stash because I can't live without it the next thing I finished was the Rimmel Wake Me Up. Do do wake me up. Ba -da -na -na -na. Do -do. Wasn't that wham? Gonna wake na -na -na wake me. I can't get the right tune in my head. But anyways, that was a 1980s song. So anyways, Wake Me Up. Or yeah, Wake Me Up by Rimmel. Uh, this is an under eye concealer in the color... I think this was medium. I would repurchase this. This is a really nice concealer. It does go on very nice and creamy and let me see if I can get a swatch here for you girls there we go I do have a little bit left so there it is right there and um, it does blend out really nicely it doesn't settle in fine lines and I think it's a really good drugstore product so I'm I mean right now I'm trying to I'm using my Mac Prolong but and I'm darker so it's a little too light for me but 
that's it right there. It is very creamy, but not creamy where it's going to settle in your fine lines and, and give you crepiness. Really like this. Would recommend. Would repurchase. Um, yeah, it's a nice product. This is not a dupes for the NARS creamy concealer that everybody, um, well, I don't know if everybody likes it, but I really like the NARS concealer. This is comparable to it, but I would not call it a dupe, but it is a very strong contender for an under eye concealer. So definitely would recommend. Finish an EOS lip balm. I think this was maybe strawberry. And there it is right there. Let me see. There it is. Finished. It's got a little bit, but you know what? I don't like using this because like this, because what happens is see the ridges, it kind of like bothers my lips. So I'm going to say it's done. I did a good job using this up. I wouldn't repurchase these. I know they're a cult favorite here on YouTube, but I just, it's, it's all right. It's nothing like, oh my God, my lips feel so moisturized. I like my Nivea lip butters way better. So yeah, that was okay for me. I finished one of my electronic uh, heads for my toothbrush. These things are great. I love it because you. I just feel like I get a better brushing when I use these electronic brushes. And there's like, there's all kinds of guck on, on here. I'm sorry. But that one was done. I would use an electric toothbrush. Would recommend because I always feel that my teeth are a lot cleaner when I use an electric toothbrush. I finished the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream Sample. It's an intense hydration for dry, parched skin. I really like this. I would. I am going to um, purchase the full size when I get my hands on it. But right now, I have so many creams that I have to finish. Oh my God. I, I think last year I went bananas when it came to Bath and Body Works and I still have body shop, but um, like body butters that I have to finish. So I vowed I would not purchase any body lotions until I finished what I had in the house. So this will be on my list to purchase, but not anytime soon. I think I'm honestly, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm probably good for a good year, year and a half with body lotions. Just telling you. So, but this one here is beautiful. If any of you are looking for a body lotion, I would highly recommend and check out the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. I think the full size is like $20, so it's a little pricey. Finished, oh, two nail files. I finished two nail files from, you know, when I do my rock, what's rocks your nails. Look at all the dust and stuff. Sorry, that's all coming out of my bag. It's crazy. But um, yeah, I finished two nail files. These things don't have enough uh, grit to, to do anything, so they're going. Love those ones, though. Finished my Star Looks um, body or lip balm. Actually, I got lots still left in here. See, I still got a lot left. What the hell? I still have a lot left, but I'm not going to be uh, using this. I don't know. It's got a real minty flavor, but it just, I don't know. It was okay, but it was annoying me, so I wanted to throw it out. <laughs> I, fin I didn't finish this one either. It's the Lee Lip X Wild Cherry, and it's just gungy and gross, so I'm throwing that out too. Wouldn't repurchase. I wouldn't repurchase the Starlux one either because that one came in my subscription box as an extra gift, but I'm not going to go out and buy it. I depotted my, uh, what's this called? The Balm uh, Concealer. It comes in this little pot here, but the lid broke, so I was worried about, about it drying out. And this is the Light to Medium. And this is very creamy, but it does... It does settle under fine lines and wrinkles, so it's not really good for mature skin. I This used to be my go-to when I was in my 30s, but now that I'm in my 40s, I don't recommend it unless you are one of these ladies that doesn't have any wrinkles under your eyes. Then yeah, it's fabulous. It conceals, it lasts all day. What I'm gonna be using this now um, is for like, you know, if you have like pimples or something that you want to um, hide or like dark spots, that's what I'm going to be using this concealer for just so that I can use it up. But I wouldn't use it or recommend it for under the eyes for the mature ladies. But for you ladies who maybe can get away with that, then hey, I would recommend it because it is a nice concealer. I finished a chic, a big, oh no, this is the chic 
five blade razor. Love this. It's one of my favorite ones. And I finished that because you know it is the summertime. So you shave a lot more often than you do in the winter. I finished one of these coconut leaves wallflower scents. These are absolutely divine. Absolutely love them. Would recommend if any of you are looking for home fragrance, I would recommend getting these wallflowers from Bath and Body. Um, wait till there's a sale because these things are expensive. Holy crap, they're expensive. They're two for $12.50 on a regular price. So they go on sale like you can buy two for six and that's when I would tell you go and get them. So hold off until there's a sale and then try these out. Last thing is my Quo um, sharpener. I'm throwing this out. Actually, I'm gonna clean it out and put it in a garage sale. It still sharpens, it's just that I hate the way this is where you have to take this off and take, you know, this comes off and when when it gets too full, it pops off automatically. It's just a pain in the butt and I've got other ones from Sephora that I like better. So I'm just going to clean this up and I'm going to throw it in my garage sale because I'm sure there's people out there that would enjoy this. So that's really a garbage for me, but it could be somebody else's treasure. That was my um, empties for the month of July. I did, I noticed I didn't go through a lot of things. I did some stuff, but I think I'm, I've started so many new things because I've had a lot of empties in the past month that I'm in the process of still using the stuff that I'm using. So there's my empty bag. Just That's it. All of my stuff are done. I hope you enjoyed the month of July's empties. I cannot believe it's the end of July, like I said before. But I want to thank you all for watching my video. If you're interested in knowing what's on my face, this is the Magenta Sephora Lip um, Cream Lipstick, Liquid Lipstick. You know, the new stuff that comes in a tube. I had uh, purchased this in one of my hauls, and this is the Magenta. Isn't it really pretty? And I have to tell you, these things are amazing. They're very pigmented, very creamy. They're not drying on your lips. Highly would recommend going to check it out. Again, it's the Sephora. I'm gonna put the link below so that you guys can go and get yourself. If you're interested, you can check the website and if you wanna go buy it, buy it. If not, at least you know about it. My mascara is from Quo. My eyeshadows are the Lorac Pro, the original. And then my necklace is from Guess. This is a guest necklace, but when I went to New York, I found a wholesale place that I, I spent like $9.95 for this. Well, a similar one, not this one. This one I paid 40 bucks, I guess. But meanwhile, I went to the wholesaler place and I paid, actually I'm lying, $6.95 with the matching earrings, but in a different color, like glow. So actually I picked it up, but it's crazy. I can't believe the ripoff that you get just because it's a guest, but it's really not guest. So the ring is from Swarovski and the watch is Michael Kors. And my t-shirt is from Ardeen because I love their t-shirts. And yeah, I think that's it. Um, I'm wearing what bronzer, my Bobby Brown bronzer, which yeah, I've got my Bobby Brown bronzer on and I've got my elf brow gel powder thing. And yeah, I think that's it that I have to share with you. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It's 22 minutes long. Holy crap, why are my empties so damn long? So I think you should all have a beautiful day. And thank you so, so much for watching my videos. I hope you enjoyed this empties video. And I hope to see you all in my next video. Ciao for now. And thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Bye.